Hello, welcome to the PHP Classes site. I am Manuel Lemos, the founder and the original developer of the site. Before you move on here, let me tell you that today I have great news for you. Do you know what is this? Hmm? This? This? If you said it is the PHP Elephant, you guessed right. This is a plush toy based on the original design that we licensed from the creator of the design, I mean, Vincent Pontier from France. Now, would you like to get one of these elephants? I bet you do because many PHP developers have been searching for this for a long time. Well, the good news is there are three ways of getting one of these elephants. Well, stay until the end of this video so you can learn more about those ways to get this PHP elephant. In the tutorial of today, you will learn how to create a PHP ebook library manager for handling collections of ebooks on the web. As an introduction, I'd like to briefly comment that uh, you will learn about what is an ebook library manager, why you may need to use an ebook library manager, how can you implement an uh, ebook library manager in PHP and where you can try a demonstration of the PHP ebook library manager. So first, what is an uh, ebook library manager? Basically, it is a system that lets its users perform several tasks to manage a collection of ebooks that are stored in a central repository. These tasks may include handling the uploading process of ebook files, manage information about each ebook in a database, serving the ebook files for download or for being viewed in computers or mobile phones, and there may be other more detailed tasks that uh, we all will not extend here to mention all of them. So why you may need to use an ebook library manager is a question that you may have. Many people in the world evolved and they no longer use printed versions of the books that they want to read. They just use ebooks that consist of files that can be stored in a computer, in a server on the internet, or made available in a cloud hosting system. So if you have a large collection of ebooks or you have a site that aims to serve many ebooks to many users that visit that site, an ebook manager system will make your life easier as it will automate many tasks that are necessary to make a simpler approach to manage collections of many ebooks. So, how can you implement a library manager in PHP? So, this tutorial is about the OPDS PHP ebook publisher class that you are seeing here on this page. So, to start using this system to manage your ebook library or your ebook site, you need to follow a few steps. So, the first step is to install the OPDS PHP Publisher class. And uh, to do that, you first is to download it from the PHP class site by going to the package download page that you may see here. There are some links here to download the package either in zip format or tag gz. There, are, there is also a link to install it in Composer, but we do not need that for now. So let's move on. So once you have downloaded the package archive from the site, you just need to unpack it, uh, the, that archive in a directory named, for instance, OPDS. You can do this in a production server directly, but it is advised that you do it first in a development machine 
that you may use to do your work. Like here, you can submit to all project files to a server that runs your production site. So the next step is to install the database. The system works with a MySQL database. To install the database, use your favorite MySQL database manager and create a new database named OPDS. Then use the OPDS SQL file and pass it to the MySQL command so it can create the database table structure. The OPDS SQL file is here. It is a regular uh, MySQL database dump file with many SQL statements. You just need to execute them using the MySQL command or some other means to run all these commands in SQL language to install all the tables, all the initial structure, and eventually some um, initial values that it may contain. So this is just a database dump file. You just need to execute those statements and you will get started. The next step is to configure the database access details. Uh, the system is already set to use default values to configure the access to the database, so it, it does not need much more configuration changes. Currently, you need to edit a few scripts to change the database access parameter values. Those scripts are index.php, ebooks.php, gestion dot slash init dot php in these uh, files you may need to change a few lines to set some values that are more appropriate for your environment so the values are here usually you just need to change the username which in this case is set to login and the password is set to password you probably use other values for these parameters so go ahead and change these three files so you can get started with the application the next step is to configure the library catalog once you have the database installed the application is ready to run the next step is to configure ebook library catalog details. So if you have installed the system to run in a directory named OPDS inside the domain www.yoursite.com, you can access the catalog configuration pages by accessing the URL uh, that is basically the beginning, HTTP, colon, slash, slash, www.yoursite.com slash opds slash jesh so in that page you'll be able to add books to the catalog so now you may wonder where can i try a live demonstration of the php book library manager that i have presented here so before you try using the system for your own purposes you may want to see a live demonstration of the way it works in practice. So for that, just go to Pierre Fouque uh, ebook library management demo page. So you can use this system. You can see the, the actual system in action. Uh, first, over here, you can see some screenshots of some pages, in the case, captures of uh, mobile phone screens there are a few here you can just take a look just to see how it looks in a mobile phone uh, there are details for individual ebooks uh, ebook listings and the categories that you can um, browse to get started as a user so over here is uh, the actual site of Pierre Fouque. Um, 
as you may see, this is the web version. It's a bit different from the mobile version. You can click it here. You can see a listing of ebooks. Then you click to get the detail, see some descriptions, and you can download by clicking the EPUB uh, button here. EPUB is just one of the formats that is supported. There are other formats that it supports. So basically this is it. I hope you have liked this tutorial. Uh, if it is the case, please give a thumbs up on YouTube if you are watching this in YouTube. And uh, if you are interested to follow other tutorial videos that we'll, we'll publish later, just subscribe to our channel and hopefully you will see more interesting tutorial videos from us. So for now, that's all. I hope you have liked. If you have not liked, you are free to comment and give your suggestions, your criticisms, your words of encouragement so you can continue to produce more tutorial videos like this or even better. That's all for now. Thank you. As promised, uh, here are the three ways that you can be able to get one of these elephants. The first way is to buy at the PHP Classes site by going to the shopping section. We can ship the elephant to anywhere in the world, wherever you are. There are free shipping options to send it to many countries. You can even get more than one elephant for you, for your girlfriend, for your boyfriend, for your wife, for your husband, for your family, for your friends, for your colleagues. So you can show that you love them all. We are sure that they will love you more if you get elephants to all of those nice people that you care about. The second way to get an elephant is to participate in the PHP Programming Innovation Award. Every month, we nominate the most innovative packages of classes published in the site. And the authors of the most voted innovative packages can pick prizes from the award sponsors, including this PHP Elephant mascot. The third way is to participate in the PHP Programming Master Award. Every month, we distinguish authors of the PHP packages that have been published in the site and also have published to popular tutorial blog articles about their packages on the PHP Classes site. The authors of the most viewed tutorial blog articles can pick prizes also from the award sponsors, including the PHP Elephant mascot that the PHP Classes site is also giving away as prize. So, if you want to get this nice mascot for free, you just need to contribute great PHP packages and plug, publish them in the site. If you can publish nice tutorial blog articles, you can also increase your chances of getting your own PHP elephant for free. But if you'd like to guarantee your PHP elephant now, you can buy it by going to the PHP Classes site's shopping section. If you'd like to buy two or more elephants, you can also get free shipping. This way, soon you will be a proud owner of this wonderful symbol of the PHP language that we all love. Just look around in the page where you are watching this video, so you can find links to pages where you can buy the PHP elephant or learn more about how to participate in these awards. For now, that is all. Bye.